ever the, the Muslims have dropped the message, the Prophet ﷺ said in another hadith, if you leave my sunnah and prefer another sunnah over it, there's something else over my sunnah, I will have you divided until the end of time. All right, you, this is the punishment of someone who leaves the, the sunnah of the Prophet. That means you love another example over the sunnah of the Prophet. And what has our ummah declared by its actions? The love of nationalism over the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. So we are now cursed with division. And this is why you'd be very suspicious of anything that gets huge because the curse of division is on this ummah, right? And you don't need to have proof. Just look. The curse of division is on the ummah. Why? Because we left the sunnah. And the proof of that is in our nations, right? Nobody is calling to do things the way the Prophet did it. Wallahi al-Azim, you will be laughed at. If you say, let us run our countries the way the Prophet ran his country, go stand in, in, in Pakistan, in Tunisia, in Egypt, and make an announcement to the family. We should say at the dinner table, the solution is to return to the way of the Abu Bakr and Umar in how they ruled the land. You will just be laughed at. They will actually choke on their food. How, about, how much they're going to laugh at you. Right? So when such a people are this way, well, what did the Prophet say? And what did the Qur'an say? The Qur'an said the Christians, once they, said, they, they corrupted their doctrine and they were no longer interested in the doctrine, Allah cursed them with division. What did the Prophet say? When, if you prefer a sunnah over myself, over my sunnah, you will be divided. So the sickness of the ummah is that we are cursed with division. That's why anyone who has this imagination, I'm going to come and bring the ummah together. It's a good intention, but you're ignorant. 